Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, everyone. I am so grateful that you are choosing to spend a portion of your day with me. And thank you so much to everyone who has bought me a coffee and to all of my monthly club members. You guys really are helping me to keep this channel running and I am so appreciative. In a very recent video, and I'll have that video linked below, we made this super awesome 2022 planner and notepad combo set. And we made it using a beautiful decorative file folder. And so to make sure that you put your best foot forward when you make this to give or sell, I am going to show you two amazing packaging ideas. And for those of you who might be doing craft fairs, pricing, quality, and presentation are so important. And today we're going to focus on presentation. So this is going to be a great project for anyone who's thinking about doing a craft fair or selling what they make. And even if you aren't interested in selling what you make, presentation is still key whenever you're giving a gift. So y'all know what time it is, it's time to make it. All right guys, so here is a closer look at two awesome packaging ideas. These are perfect for those of you who might be doing craft fairs and you want to have something that sets you apart from everyone else. We are visual creatures and our eyes are drawn to the well put together and the pretty. Like it or not, that's just the way we operate. First impressions do matter. So today I'm going to show you these two items. These are perfect even if you are not doing a craft fair. If you want to present well when you're giving your 2022 planners to someone, these are great ideas. But if you are doing a craft fair, this is how you set yourself apart. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this awesome box. And when finished, it measures four and a quarter by six and three quarters by one. And it is super easy to make. We are making it using a portion of a file folder so that we have a well-coordinated set. Guys, coordinating does not get any better than this. You will hear me say it on this channel all the time. Presentation, presentation, presentation. This is how you set yourself apart from other crafters and especially other craft fair sellers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to take our file folder, let's open it, and we're going to take the fold mark for that file folder and we're going to position it at one and cut. So that means that we already have the bottom of our box scored here. So you don't need to score at the bottom. So once we took that fold, lined it up with one and made our cut, we now have a piece that is 10 by 11 and three quarters. So on the 10 inch side, we're now going to score at eight and at nine. So then we're going to rotate it to the 11 and three quarter inch side and we're going to go ahead and trim it to 11. So we're just going to get rid of a portion. So now that we have it in our scoreboard on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at half an inch at four and three quarters at five and three quarters and at 10. Those are all of the scores that we need to make. So let's go ahead and fold and burnish all of our score marks. Love working with these file folders because they're very sturdy but they're very beautiful all 
Okay, so where we have this very narrow flap here, this is our glue flap. So we're going to get rid of this piece, this piece, and this one inch piece down at the bottom. So I'll go up to that first score mark here at the bottom and remove this piece. Then I'll remove these two pieces here. So let's go over and cut. And then we remove that. So that becomes our glue flap. So now we're going to just go to the second score mark wherever we have a tab score and we're going to cut. So we'll go to the second score mark here and cut. So I am going to fold this in so that I can reduce these in size and then I'll angle and angle angle here and angle here. So now that we've done that, I'm just going to take this part and fold it in just so that I'll have a nice clean fold over at the lip and I'm angling that just a little bit. You can go ahead and remove all of that if you want. It's not necessary for me. I'm trying to reduce the number of cuts that I have on this project. So I'm just going to add some glue Fold that in, use my big old spatula to fold it over. So now when the box is opened, we have that nice smooth lip so we don't have to worry about it getting real ragged. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to round that piece just a little bit. And now we're going to come down to the bottom. Everywhere that we have these little tabs, we have one here and one here. We're going to go up to the first score mark and drag straight down. And then I'm just going to angle in on these tabs just a little bit. And so now our box is ready to be put together. I am going to take my glue, place my glue on this glue flap, and then I'll match it with this side. And I'm making sure that when I match it, I'm getting the score mark here aligned with the score mark here all the way around. And so now that we have it matched, Guys, we have a beautiful flat fold, so we can make bunches of these and put them away until we need them. So now we're going to go ahead and put our box together. To make sure that it's squared, I am going to go ahead and tuck in that top. And that way, when I put the bottom together, I know that I already have it squared because I have the top folded in. So I am going to take my glue, place some glue on those little side pieces, Place some glue on the back piece, fold that over, and then I'll place my glue on this piece, fold that over, and now just like that, and then I'll take my big old spatula, go along the bottom, I'm going to open this, use my ruler to go on the inside, and get it nice and stuck. And now y'all, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous box that we made using one of our beautiful file folders. I know the file folders were on sale. I hope some of you have been able to grab some of these or some of the others that they happen to have. So I am going to take my book. We're going to place it in our box and you can see that we have a very good fit on this. I can take my lid, close it, and then I can do whatever decorating I want to do to the outside. So then to decorate this, I am going to keep it very simple. I am going to put on your special day using one of my Anna Griffin stickers. So I'll just peel away the back. 
place that right there. I'll add some glue to the back of that piece and then glue to the back of this piece. And this is just how, if you're giving this as a gift, you can very easily decorate this box. Now, if you're selling this at a craft fair, I would really hold off on putting any type of a sentiment on the front because you never know the reason why the person happens to be buying it. Just keep it pretty neutral. And by using this beautiful file folder or a similar file folder or paper, it's already beautiful enough. So there, my friends, are my two beautiful boxes for those awesome 2022 planners. Now, let's go ahead and bag these planners. So I'm using these six by nine self-sealing bags. They already have the adhesive on them. So before I put the book in, I am just going to bring in some scrap because I need to make a topper for this. I have that second half of the file folder and we're going to trim it. So the first thing I want to do is I am going to trim away the edge because it has that little notch in it. And then I'll trim it at six and a quarter. And then I'll trim it again at four and a half. So I'm using a scrap piece that measures six and a quarter by four and a half. Then I'm going to score it on the four and a half inch side at two and a quarter. Then I'm going to take this and just fold it. I'll bring in my tape runner. And I am going to add tape to both sides of this. Guys, I know the tape runners are sold out on Amazon. These are the tape runners that I use. A lot of you have asked me for alternatives and I'm not able to make that suggestion for you because I do prefer these. So if you want to wait, they normally do come back in stock, but they sell out very quickly when they do. Or you can just order one or two tape runners and then do a test to see what works for you. So I am going to take this and I'm going to place my bag on the inside just like that, and I'm going to use my big old spatula to make sure that I have this nice and stuck on that side. And then I'm going to place that piece down and do the same thing. I want a really good seal on this before I actually punch with my oval punch. So now I'm going to take my oval punch. I got this punch at Tuesday morning. I don't even know what brand it is because it doesn't have a name on it. I do know that it's a very good punch because it will punch through this as well as the plastic. So um, just test out your punches and see how they'll do. I have no idea what the brand name of this punch is, but I know that I love it. So I am going to take my punch, place it down, flip it over, and then I'm going to stand because if I take both of my hands and press, I'll get a clean press through on all three layers. So it cut through the plastic and it cut through both pieces of that file folder. And so now we can take our book, put the book in and I'm going to peel that back strip, open that, and then I'm just going to bring it up and over. And isn't that gorgeous packaging? Now, if someone purchases this from you, they can actually walk around and just carry it because you have that little handle. Or if you wanted to hang these on a hook at your craft fair, you can do that because you've cut your little opening. And so now I'm going to take some more of my paper flowers. And these are paper flowers that I got from Tuesday morning. They're from Little Birdie. They were $2.99 and these were bought um, over a year and a half ago, and I know that Tuesday morning has really fallen off on the craft supplies that they have. So I don't even know if they would have anything like this the last time I was in Tuesday morning, which was about a month ago. 
I was so disappointed that I just turned around and left because they don't have much. And what they do have, they have pretty much doubled the price. So I wasn't willing to pay it. So I just left. So I am going to take these two and just put them right there at the top just to add a little cuteness to this. And so y'all, there we have two super easy ways of packaging those 2022 planners that we made in a previous video. I do have that video linked below. Make sure you check it out. But this isn't just for those planners. You can use these boxes for a whole bunch of different other things. You can use this packaging idea in the plastic bags for a whole bunch of different other things that, that you might make to gift, sell, or keep. So guys, I hope that you have liked this fun, quick and easy way of making packaging because presentation, presentation, presentation. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.